Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And we've got a few uh, colours on here. <laughs> These are a bit um, unusual colours. Because <laughs> they're those uh, Peebo acrylic paints. And if you've ever used them before. Um, the colours are a bit unusual. Like this is caramel. <laughs> and this one's, uh, yeah, the yellow's mango. And cherry is red, so the, that's the cherry. And then I've got some uh, white and and black. Not many colours. I'm going to use uh, this these paints just to try them out again, because <laughs> when I was moving stuff, I was like, oh, I forgot about those. I'll, uh, I think I'll use those. So I'm going to do a bit of a sunset using the a similar design to my last painting which is that that scene if you watch that one I'm gonna use sunset colors and do somewhat similar not the same just using that as a guide really I like the idea of some water and uh, and a sunset so I'll start with some of this mango yellow this mango yellow and we'll have our sky sort of start there and then what I'll do is I'll use a bit of the cherry <laughs> the cherry red see what kind of pinkish color we get get some of that cherry red color and we'll bring that on the outside of this always go more red if we want to Let's see if you like the color you can choose to change it of course it's sort of an orangey orangey pinky color bit more red on the outside I think it's one of those really strong <laughs> it's gonna be a really strong sky this one this mango color in the middle just sort of bring it out So I'm just sort of looking at it, seeing what I want it to, to be like. Building it up, building the colours up. So I don't mind seeing brush strokes on this. I know if you don't want you want to see brush strokes, you can always smooth the paint out a little bit. Sort of uh, use another brush or clean your brush, and you can smooth it, smooth it a little bit. I'm not too uh, not too worried. More yellow in the center. Okay, 
Okay, and then uh, I'll use this same yellow and red. Think about the water. Um, look like water here, so we'll use it along here. And then a bit more of the red in this area. Just give my paints a spray with this a little uh, atomizer. Keep your uh, paint wet. <laughs> Just do a little bit, and then you can keep your paint nice and workable. I think that's the biggest problem with acrylics, isn't it? It's the one thing that used to scare me about acrylics. <laughs> Scared by paint. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was scared of paint. But the more you use a paint, the more you get used to it, don't you? And then you start recognizing how it behaves, and you think, "Hmm, I know what I can do to stop this happening." Right, as this dries, I'm going to uh, go for it a little bit more with the yellows. I'm just giving my brush a wash. I use a, uh, do you see this dirty old tea towel that's on the corner of the screen over here? Wee! <laughs> I wiped my brush on that and didn't let it dry. It's a very crispy tea towel now, and I've used it quite a few times. So I'm getting some yellow. I'm gonna go, this is my light source there. I'm gonna use my finger just to lightly smudge it a bit. And then a little bit of this down here in the water as well. And you can choose how bright you want this to be, how bright you want the sun to be. What I might do, get a bit of yellow on my finger and go beep. That looks quite nice actually. So what I might do I'm gonna smooth this off a little bit here. Uh, 
I'm just dramatizing it a little bit actually. I just want it a bit more dramatic. And if I uh, lighten it, that. Hmm, quite like that. Now I could do a little bit of white, just using my finger, I'll show you. A little bit of white, and then on the yellow. Make it even brighter colour. So go even brighter. Something like that. Now I want to uh, start putting some trees and things around. So what I'll use is some of this red, this cherry red, a tiny bit of the black. So I'm making a dark red really. I'm going to use that for the land. So we've got some kind of a tree there. I'll have the land going along there. using that corner of the brush really a bit of red can go even darker for like some of these bits Throw some more trees there. And we can reflect some of this in the water. Maybe there's a, a reflection there. What tree? quite dry so you could even go hmm, maybe maybe the light maybe there's a bit of light that's uh, hitting this ground here so we don't want that to be so dark so Maybe we can have a bit of uh, colour. A little bit more, more light. So it's just hitting that ground there. And maybe it's hitting that. Tree. Just a little bit, I'll do. And then this nice dark red colour. Just 
cherry color and black. Nice uh, dark. We can start putting in the, the land that's here. And we can have our a big tree that grows there. Maybe I'll put in another one over here actually, just to block that one in. Oh, I need some more red. Blobbing a bit more of the red out. So I, I try and put the amount of paint that I think I'm going to use. You don't have to like load your palette up with tons of paint when you're painting. I know you'll see a lot of people doing that, but it's you just add your paint on as you go, otherwise you're worrying of how to save paint. <laughs> Might as well be like me. <laughs> Stop thinking, oh no, I'm going to have to have another plate of paint in the fridge. <laughs> A little bit more of that red in that ground there. Don't want it to be too, uh, too dark. I like the effect though of the darkness. See, if you wait for the paint to dry a little bit, you can get these sort of open strokes that work quite nice for trees. It also works quite well for little weeds and stuff like that that's growing there. Then I can grab a little bit of the colour, get a bit of this yellowy colour mixed in with my colour. I can throw on a little bit of light on one side of this tree, not too much. Same with this, this ground as well. And have a little bit of colour on it. That was just an indication of a bit of light poking through. <laughs> a fake light there. Look. And you can add a bit more light as if the light is sort of hitting some of the ground there. There's a bit of light hitting that tree there. Probably wouldn't be, but just to make it a bit different. <laughs> I might use the liner. Just to add a few little details in there. So. Some darker ones. May even uh, use it to uh, add a few tree trunks and things in. in oops. <laughs> That's a bit bright. Pip. Something like that. in the background that's what you want to do you can do that you can even go darker in this area 
really shadow that bit. You could put a rock there. You could do all sorts. It's quite a nice easy one that you could try. You could do this one no problem. And you could uh you can even have like a person or if you wanted a fisherman there, you could put someone fishing, or you could have a boat, or you could have a little bird going a couple of them. Oh no, now I'm gonna have to put them down here in the water. <laughs> So that one's about there, I think. And that one's below, about there. Mm. <laughs> oh no, my brain has gone. lines in now. Just give the uh, water a bit of movement, that's all. Indication that there's water there. Okay, well, I think we're nearly there. Maybe I could add a few. You could add a, a little bit of light hitting some of these if you wanted. I don't know if it's needed to be honest. Sometimes it's better not to actually, because the, the dark is what's helping things. It's how the dark here is helping to make that look more light there. So you can put a little detail in, a little, little subtle detail. It looks like a lot of detail when you're putting it in. As this dries, it sort of disappears a little bit. You'll just get a slight change in colour. It's another, another way of creating things. But anyway, <laughs> I've enjoyed painting this one. I had a lot of fun. So I hope it gave you an idea of uh, changing the flavour up a little bit, making things a bit stronger, a bit more dramatic in colour. So thanks very much for watching this one, and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.